The lush forests and misty volcanoes of northwestern Rwanda are home to mountain gorillas. This man and his family are lucky. They bought permits to see the endangered apes before Rwanda doubled the cost to $1,500 per person. And that would be a drawback. I think it's going to be like a, just for an elite of people that can pay that. If, as I said, if, if you, if you to, to the fee, you have to think in hotels, airplanes, and so on. It's going to be a huge amount of money to get to Rwanda to see the gorillas. The new rates are meant to boost conservation efforts while positioning the land of a thousand hills as a luxury tourist destination. So our strategy is uh, to develop a high-end uh, tourism market because uh, our tourism is very much based on natural resources and we're very serious about conservation of our natural resources. And so uh, when you go to see gorillas, it costs you $1,500. Uh, and the idea behind that is because it's an exclusive experience that also needs to be limited in terms of number because you're conserving the natural resources. The high-value, low-impact strategy has worked well for other countries. For us, we expected that it will be good because if those uh, customers will come even uh, now, we already uh, started to receive those uh, people who is rich, who are able to afford the prices. Now even the income has started to be good for us. The remote, mountainous border area straddling Rwanda, the DRC and Uganda is the only place in the world where you can see gorillas in their natural habitat. Thanks to conservation efforts, the population has slowly increased, but there are still fewer than a thousand of the giant apes in the wild. Permits to see the gorillas in the DRC and Uganda are far cheaper, but Rwandan officials aren't concerned, saying theirs is a unique experience. Vic Chege, CGTN.